always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. Well, it was all or nothing when it comes to rainfall today. Grand Rapids picking up just a sprinkle, but look at Lansing, 1.75 inches, and about an inch of that came in just 20 minutes. Richland in Kalamazoo County at one, uh, about an inch and a quarter. We had an inch in, in uh, the Ludington area, three quarters of an inch here in Kalamazoo, and about half an inch in Battle Creek. And there is more rain on the way. You can see we have some scattered light showers out there, but we do expect this activity to increase in number and intensity as we approach daybreak. So. Anytime after about 2 or 3 in the morning, watch for more scattered showers and storms to be developing. Off to the west, we got some storms in eastern Iowa and in Minnesota. Systems there moving to the east will continue that chance of a shower or thunder shower during the day tomorrow. So once again, scattered showers and storms for tonight and during the day tomorrow. After that, it's mostly dry from Tuesday through next weekend. There is an outside chance of a shower Wednesday night into Thursday, but uh, those will be few and far between. And finally, we start to see some less humid air moving into the picture here for Monday night and on Tuesday. Here's a look at the showers and storms that are really blossoming here. And boy, that red indicates some pretty heavy rain, a possibility here for later on tonight. And watch how that continues over the Battle Creek area here. Some places could see uh, one to two inches of additional rainfall on top of what you've already had. Uh, we're not anticipating any severe weather with this, though there could be a, a brief period of kind of gusty winds there. Uh, winds continue out of the southwest during the day, bringing up the moist air. We'll continue to see a chance of scattered showers. In the afternoon, a line of showers and thunder showers uh, will likely develop and then move off toward the southeast. And as it does, it starts to bring down some cooler air. We got those blue arrows, and that's eventually going to bring down cooler and drier air from out of Canada. Low temperatures overnight tonight, uh, around 70, and that means the air conditioners will be cranked up here. It's pretty humid out there. Highs during the day tomorrow should hold in the upper 70s in most areas north of Kent County. And once you get down around the Grand Rapids area, we're around 79 or 80 during the afternoon. And with the water temperature of Lake Michigan at Grand Haven at 78, there's not going to be much difference in temperature between the uh, lakeshore areas and inland areas uh, with the water being that warm out there. Hastings at 80 tomorrow. We'll see temperatures in the low 80s in Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. Cold water at 84 and Sturgis at 85, Niles and Dwajak at 86. This is important. The beach hazard statement, small craft advisories will be in effect during the day tomorrow for waves of 2 to 5 feet. There will be a good chance for rip currents and those structural currents, so best stay out of the lake. And there's those warm water temperatures, 78 at both Grand Haven and Saugatuck earlier today. And there's a look at your 8-day forecast uh, temperatures here. Uh, back down in the upper 70s to around 80. We got a, our best chance of rain coming tomorrow. Small chance of rain here on Thursday. Just seeing the word pleasant is a whole breath of fresh air from what we've been dealing with ourselves. Isn't that nice for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, let's just fast forward to that if we could. But what can you right do? There. So, anyway, thanks so much, Bill. Okay. Thanks. Speaking